Man. My place is a freaking wreck. Trash like hell. Isn't that right, Clowny? Damn straight. Hey, hey, welcome. Good morning. Uh, this is the Terror Clowns channel, and we're going to have a full day today. I'm going to take you guys out. We're going to go see this author, this children's book author called Jane Brett, or Jan Brett. Yeah, Jan Brett. Never heard of her before, but she's an author, so I'm going to get her on the vlog. I got a bit I'm going to be working on, so you guys can see me working on a bit. Um, and, uh, oh, I got a clean. Yeah, cleaned up. So I want to do laundry. You got a pile of laundry to do. Yeah. God, I do laundry here. Almost out of freaking detergent. Okay. I'm gonna clean up now while my laundry is being done. Um. So. Yeah. When we come back, it should be done right now. Yep. I told you it's clean. Well, it's decent anyway. I moved the table over there because that's where uh, a certain something I'm going to be getting is going to be going. Well, obviously, you would know because you're watching the edited video right now. I don't know if my laundry's done yet. I put it in the wash. Probably my kitchen's not done. Uh, yeah. Dishes are done. Kitchen's done. Look, even the bathroom's done. Yay! Thumbs up for bathrooms. I know I said that before. Alrighty. I had them uh, close the fold here. I got a uh, Ozzy hat. It's uh, winter, and it's gonna be winter time. I'm gonna be wearing this. But the only thing I don't like is the freaking sides of it look like I got ears or something, like Mickey Mouse or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, this is the way I fold clothes. I just fold them up. <clears throat> They're not perfect. Uh, some people get really meticulous about how uh, the clothes are folded, but I just like fold it up like this. And done. As long as I can see what, what the image is so I know which one to grab when I need it. Other than that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yep, now it's time for me to get cleaned up. Shave up. Get a shower, you know, just uh, cleaned up and looking dapper. All right, just cleaned up. So I'll put my, uh, put my uh, what do you call this, uh, Transformer shirt on. Because it's, you know, when I go talk to that uh, author, I don't want to have my, one of my uh, heavy metal shirts on because it might not look right. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how you doing, children's book author? I got this uh, skull thing on my, uh, like this. Okay, um, so I'm gonna clean it right about See? now. Now I'm cleaned up and I am uh, outside. Um, I'm head down here, got a few things to do. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to say, uh, yeah, sorry about not going to that fair. I was gonna take you guys to. Um, I just didn't have the money or the time. Actually, I had the time, no money, and no ride. So, yeah, what are you going to do? So maybe next year, or, yeah, next year when fair season comes in, I'll get you guys there. So right now I'm just going to head down and uh, go get something to eat. And, uh, you know, whatever. Right, now check this out. Um, this place burnt down a while ago. I guess like last year or something. And they're actually rebuilding it. It turned it into an, a winery. Uh, Eagle Rock Winery. Oh look, they're on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Everybody's on that, man. <laughs> so yeah, the, the looks of it, they're doing a really good job of, of 
fixing this place up. There's a new floor. Whoa! Jeez, man! Freaking scared the shit out of me. But yeah, they're pigeons. Scared the shit out of me. Go figure. Anyway, yeah, like this, they're fill, build, building it up. I must have gutted it and wanted to save the exterior, so I guess that's what they're doing. Yeah, all right, so yeah, I'm into dark Halloween and evil blood, guts, all that kind of stuff. And then you got that really cutesy Halloween in the gift shops. For people who are into that kind of darkness so i mean look it's a gingerbread house for halloween well it looks like it's fake obviously but still a gingerbread house for halloween all righty got something to eat i mean i practically live on a dollar a day so that's pretty much what i do anyway um i'm heading across the bridge again over to the south side and I'm going to uh, take you over to the Little League and um, show you what it looks like empty. Because obviously you've seen what it looked like before when it was busy. So Maybe I'll, I'll stop by and see a couple of my relatives if they're there. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Yep, yeah, construction on the way for the new uh, hotel and their and new bus station on this side. Yeah, big old holes in the ground. They're doing their thing. Yeah, hey, uh, it's hot as hell out here and it's October. How is that possible? Anyway, check this out. Well, let's put this on around my wrist so I don't lose it. Alright, there's a, some kind of radio control tower and there's a bridge that goes to it. All the time I walk by here, I always think maybe there's a, you know, like running from something, like a werewolf or something. And he would jump onto that thing and try to block your way. That'd be cool to see. There's a parade coming, I believe, on Saturday. It's called the Mummers Parade. It's a Halloween parade they have every year. Um, I'm definitely going to hit that for you, and you'll see that next week. That'd be kind of cool. I, I hope they have uh, some cool stuff. I'll have to explain one thing that happens in it. But I don't think they have it anymore, actually. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to check, check this out. This is one of the neighbors over in south side they dress their stuff up all year their yard and for christmas halloween easter and this year from the looks of it it's pumpkin city yeah i know it keeps going keeps going keeps going oh and by the way it keeps going that was just the yard of pumpkins now they got the yard of ghosts Look at this. That is crazy. That's a lot of ghosts, man. Um, at nighttime, I bet this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna have to come over here and shoot this at night. And apparently, they got the blow up things too, which looks good. Look, it, it just keeps going. There are ghosts up there. And you come over here, you got tombstones and whatnot. And then you got the neighbors over here who already have stuff blown up. Yeah, you know it's the season. The season of the witch. <laughs> yep, take a look. This is how dead it is. When the, the week, one week and a half in August, the world is watching this place. Hey, here we go. And this is what the stadium looks like with nobody in it. Remember all the kids going down the hill, people sitting on the side of the hill, especially right there. I don't know what that guy's doing. I think he's irrigating the lawn for winter time or something. Yep, that's what it looks like. Oh, one week and a half, the world looks on this place. And everybody from around the world comes here. Well, not everybody, but majority. Look, wrong way. That's my clown, remember? Upside down head, wrong way. Yeah, he's cool. You're gonna like him in book. Okay, I'm over here at the, waiting for Jane Brett to show up. So, yeah. Okay, happen. apparently she's got some kind of book reading or something. I'm gonna to check it out. So I'll be getting a little bit of that when she gets started. She, 
This apparently is her new book. Oh, she's got tons of them. So, like I said, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to welcome Jan Brett to the building. Thank you so much for being here. It's wonderful to be with all these people. And it's, Africa has so many beautiful birds, and a lot of them we don't have in the United States. So we would have a list of birds that we would see, maybe 300 different ones that don't even live in the United States. It's like going to a different planet. And of course, you also see all the wonderful big mammals that are so famous, the elephant, the giraffe. Besides having their beautiful dresses and their hats, they would always put a very nice pin right in the middle. So I'm going to make her have a, a flower pin in the middle, which is one of the ones that I saw from the lady. I got a couple of autographs, something like that, for the kids. Uh, number 171. So, got a little bit of weight. Almost there. Okay, I got the meter. Apparently, it wasn't allowed to actually film close at least. So, hey, she was here. She was really nice. Um, I'm gonna go get some of her books. Uh, okay, but the, it's the end of the night now, so I'm kind of always. Watching Family Guy again. I <laughs> love this show. Okay, I should have been vlogging this, but I'm watching American Dad, and they just did a reference to a movie called Rad. It's a biking movie, it's just like thrashing. You know, somebody from the big city comes to a small town, they bully him until they find out he's really cool. And they become friends at the end. I don't know how many people actually saw that movie Rad. Put your comments down below, let me know if you've seen the movie Rad. I think anybody over 35 might actually have seen it. And anybody under probably be like, what the hell are you talking about? Anyway, it was funny. Oh, American Dad's going Here it is. The music, the music soundtrack from Rad. They're doing it again. That is awesome. I now I want to watch that movie again. <laughs> uh, have you seen a movie? I guess you understand. Uh, you see all those <laughs> ones that didn't make it? <laughs> okay. Alrighty. I am home now. That was a long freaking day. Back to my friends. <laughs> anyway, yeah, well, uh, it was cool. I got to meet her, meet Jane Brett, so she was pretty cool. Um, I love to do a Family Guy episode. It was awesome. Freaking American Dad with the Rad reference. Freaking awesome. I anyway, swear, if you haven't seen Rad, I think I'll put a link down below to the IMBD um, Rad. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link below. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, when I was over at the laundry mat, I, uh, somebody was giving out free cups, so I got me some free cups. Glasses, because my tumblers are, I don't really like care for tumblers much. But now I actually got some glasses. Sweet. Sweet. Anyway, I think that's it, uh, guys. Thanks for um, coming along with me today. And uh, until next time, take care.